Hello guys, and welcome back to Reading Club. So today, I'm going to read you Daisy and the Trouble with Vampires, Chapter 21 and Chapter 22. Chapter 21. It was about half an hour before my mom finally came to rescue Mrs. Pike. When she appeared out of the fog, I thought she was a ghost. Her face looked so white. But ghosts don't carry stepladders. At least, I don't think they do. My mom had been really worried about us. Apparently, she had been ringing and ringing and ringing Mrs. Pike to find out where we were. It was a good idea to bring a stepladder because Mrs. Pike's hand were so muddy and wet, my mom would never have been able to get hold of her. When Mrs. Pike finally crawled out of the hole, she looked more like a mud monster than a vampire. She even groaned like a mud monster when she stood up. I could barely see the church clock through the fog, but when my mom put her arm around Mrs. Pike and told her everything was going to be all right, I knew it was time to go home. We were at the edge of the church. We were at the end of the church path when Jack caught up with us on his bike. I think he'd had to cycle quite a long way to get my mom. Do you fancy going trick or treating? He asked me as we squeezed through the gate. It's only nine o'clock. I've already been trick or treating, I told him. And anyway, I thought you said you only did trick or tricking. I do, he said. I was tricking you. When I showed Jack the bag of sweets me and Mrs. Pike had collected, he said they were some of the most poisonous he had he'd ever seen. So I gave him gave them to him straight away. It's a good job you didn't eat any of them, he said. If you did had, you probably have been dead by now, or at the very least your face would have turned purple and yellow and your tongue would have been dropped off. Thanks for taking them, I said. See you at school on Monday, Jack said, standing up on his pedals and then cycling away to the fog. Chapter 22 When me and Mom arrived home, Mrs. Pike's pumpkins weren't on our driveway anymore. They were in the bin. I don't think she meant to fall down the hole, I said, as Mom opened the front door and let us into the house. It was so dark and foggy in the graveyard, she couldn't see where she was going. What were you doing playing hide-and-seek games in the graveyard? I really do not know, said Mom. I thought you were going trick-or-treating, not puzzling. It wasn't my idea, I told her. It was totally Mrs. Pike's idea, not mine. It didn't matter whose idea it was, Mom frowned. It was a bad idea with a capital B. As soon as I'd taken off my coat, I had a brilliant idea with a capital M. Can we play murder in the dark, I asked. Please, 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 just do me, no churches, no graveyards, no gravestones or graves to fall into either. Just normal murder in the dark in the house. No, Daisy, we cannot, said Mom. The only game you're going to play now is getting ready for bed with a capital G-R-F-B. But tonight is Halloween night, I moaned. Not in our house, it isn't, she growled. The trouble with it not being Halloween night in our house is it's blooming wet. House is it's blooming well felt like it was Halloween night in our house. Especially after going to a graveyard with a vampire. Double especially after putting my pajamas on. And triple especially after having to walk up the stairs to my bedroom on my own. If only I hadn't peeped through my bedroom curtains to see if... There were any vampires outside. The trouble with people, the trouble with peeping through my bedroom curtains is, that's when I noticed there was a fullish moon. Yes, a fullish moon peeping through the fog. Not only that, it was looking straight at me. There was no way I could get to sleep knowing there was a fullish moon staring at my curtains. When I heard my mom going to bed. Later, I couldn't even begin to close my eyes. I was so nervous. I mean, if there was a foolish moon at a quarter past ten, there could be an even fuller moon by twelve o'clock midnight, especially on Halloween. What if Mom was turning into a witch? What if the zombies were already gunging through the floor of my classroom? What if a haunted headmaster was floating across the playground? What if the holy holy man had decided to move into my new wardrobe? What if... Vampire bats were heading through my litter box. 
What if haunted tea towels were coming out of my mom's laundry basket? What if Mrs. Pike's haunted pumpkins were coming to bit me? What if werewolves could sniff the meat for our Sunday lunch? If there was a foolish moon and it was midnight and it was Halloween, anything was ha anything could happen. It was 11.04. My mom was asleep. The house was all dark. I had Mrs. Pike's torch and 56 minutes to totally build my defense. Defenses. So that's the end of this channel. I hope you enjoyed my readings of it. And if you did, please click many likes and subscribe reading club. So I'll come back later with a new and improved channel. Bye everybody.